All right, good morning, or good afternoon, I mean, uh, from the East Coast where I am. Today, uh, I'm going to be going over the May 2019 U.S. test, and I briefly looked at the first passage, and it looks like I've never seen it before, so I'll be working on it for the first time, which is good for you guys, uh, because this is the only time in my life that I can record it for the first time. If I already read it before, then you would never be able to watch me take it for the very, very first time. Uh, so this is a good representation of what, it'll be, what, it will, what it will be like for me to actually take the test. Um, you know, one thing that I will be influenced by today is the fact that my sleep is really terrible right now. And I kind of ate like way too much spicy food yesterday. So that's making my stomach upset. And I'm also older than you guys by a lot. I'm like a boomer compared to you guys. So uh, my body is way more sensitive to these things than, oops, than, it, than they used to be. Uh, so just be aware of that. I won't be, I'm, I actually expect to maybe make a mistake or two uh, in the process just because I don't think today I'll be like 100%. But even, even in making my mistakes, um, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not hesitating because I know uh, that there's going to be informative um, instructive uh, lessons from those experiences as well. Like, how do you deal with test taking when you are not feeling great? And, you know, what are some of the things that you can do to keep reminding yourself, you know, um, of what to be focusing on, right? How to be, how to keep your energy up even when you're tired. So I'm going to try to do all five passages, uh, but I suspect, I suspect that's going to be kind of a, a little too much, especially if we do have some viewers coming in and uh, and doing Q&A uh, between the passages. So if you have Q&A, uh, sorry, if you have questions, uh, you can ask them in between the passages. I'll keep the time on my phone uh, and I'll be sharing my time as I go. So let me just uh, set my iPad up. Uh, I was just charging my Apple Pencil. Uh, let me just set my iPad up and uh, make sure that it's popping. It's, it's showing up on the... Uh, on the screen, it looks like it's showing up okay. Oops, okay, that's kind of awkwardly, the size kind of got messed up. Oh, I'm also looking at the wrong. Here we go. So, yeah, so that's, <clears throat> so everything's looking good so far. I'm gonna, today I don't have a monitor to work with, so I'm just gonna have to look at this YouTube thing on one screen, which makes it a little harder. But I'll be trying to pay attention, okay, to anyone uh, if you guys join, uh, to anyone that uh, asks me a question, especially after the passages, okay? So I'll be checking the chats basically after the passages. I won't be doing it um, during the passages because I'll have to be actually managing my time, okay? So that's a pretty stressful experience, um, especially since I'm going to be explaining as I'm doing it. So yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can pull this off right now. Uh, what was I looking for? Uh, I had it over here. Pew, 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 pew. May 2019 USSAT full test. I'm gonna open it up in PDF Expert and turn all this stuff off. Okay. So I need to set the time first before I get before I get started. So let me let me go. Okay. And this is the May 2019. I wonder if there's a way to like hide this bar. Okay, I don't think so. All right. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using black for uh, to represent the color of uh, when I'm reading it first time. Blue for when I'm reading it uh, a second time for any time I'm answering a question and red for any corrections after grading. Okay, so that's just gonna be my annotation coloring system. Um, and hey, I turned my phone off to keep myself from 
being distracted, and so I actually need to turn it back on so that I can use the timer. And um, I'm going to be using the stopwatch. I'm going to be using the stopwatch. So what will happen is I'm going to be counting up. And in my head, I'm basically dividing every passage into 12 minutes. Now, 12 minutes times 5 is actually 60 minutes, not 65 minutes. So it would leave me with a couple minutes extra. But, it, you know, I tend to spend maybe like 10 minutes on like the literature and maybe like 14 minutes on the hard passage and every time the hard passage for me is sometimes slightly different sometimes it's the history passage sometimes it's one of the science passages but you know there's usually at least one passage that takes me 14 minutes so my my goal is to be done with the literature in 10 minutes but you know we'll see what happens um since I'm going to be explaining as I'm doing this. Now, because I'm explaining while I'm doing this, it's going to make it really stressful for me. So again, I will not be able to check your texts or your chats really until after I'm done with each passage. Okay, here we go. I'm starting time now. It's three seconds. I'm losing five seconds just talking to you. <laughs> here we go. All right. Um, Toybin, the master. Uh, life of the writer. Oh, so this is not a slave master. It's a, a master of writing of Henry James himself. Uh, in Rye, where this is this place that we're at, he stopped. Whoa, 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 pause. I'm, pa I'm pausing. Whoa, uh, I, I don't remember. Why did that happen? That doesn't usually happen. I haven't seen that before. Okay. I've never seen that happen before. Um, let me. Tr I hope it's not iCloud being weird because the reason I stopped using the iCloud PDF like preview thing is because of weird sync issues like this. But <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this again. Right now, I'm at I'm at 26 seconds. So let me at least just re-annotate the same thing that I'd done before. Okay. Oh, my annotate button doesn't work all of a sudden. This has not happened to me before. Mm. I'm 31% battery, so that's good enough. Hang on, what the heck is going on? Okay. I was at this. Okay, here we go. Cool. So we have a clean copy there. And I am unable to annotate for some reason when I literally was able to like a couple seconds ago. Let me try that one more time. You know what it is? It's probably this new feature that didn't exist before. I have to click on save to PDF expert. Do I have to cut? Ugh, dude, I'm confused. Okay, so do I get to edit, edit? Do I get to annotate now? I see. That that didn't exist before. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm. iCloud is such a tightly locked down ecosystem that it's really hard to make anything work with it. Okay, so iCloud is very frustrating. Uh, I kind of wish there was a better file management system for for iPads. I mean, MacBooks, Macs are fine, but iPads are a, like a struggle. Okay, so here we go. Uh. Uh, okay, now I'm actually starting again, and I, dude, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna restart time, man. It's just, it's just distracting. So three, two, one, go. Okay, and I'll wait like ten seconds since I read the first ten seconds. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Three, two, one, go. Toy, please. Okay, there we go. Toy bin master. Uh, Henry James, there we go, on in Rye. Whoa, 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 why is this pencil not working? Okay, Henry stopped at door of Mr. Milson, there we go. Who well, after the first meeting, okay, Mr. James, Mr. James, 
So Mr. Mills and they're kind of formal with each other. Uh, the American writer, okay. Um, and Rye, uh, Rye must be in England. Rye must be in England. Upon a second or third conversation with Mr. Milson during his time as a resident at Point Hill, Point Hill and Rye are similar uh, neighborhoods, I assume. They're, they're close to each other or something like that. He observed that he longed for a permanent spot in the area, in the country, or indeed in the town itself. Oh, so ironmongery must be uh, Mr. Milson's job. They're more, their their common, their common, their commonality is the uh, is housing. Hmm, this is nice, little detail. Uh, yeah. London address. Two minutes and fifteen seconds so far. Drinking in England. Okay, it's an interesting metaphor. Okay, because Mr. Milson is not super educated, he's an iron monger, maybe. Uh, Providence means content, I think. Lamb House and Rye have fallen vacant. Oh, the opportunity has presented itself. Oh my god, you might lose the house, right? You're racing for that house. Garden room that Edward Warren had drawn so lovingly. It's like this beautiful house. He wants it. So warmly and fruitfully, natural and comfortably. Can't, if his ironmonger was freely, is he telling, he, is he telling other people or just him? This is the dream house. He would send, he could send a cable, like a wire, uh, like a wire message, like a tel telegram, but he would lose it. There was no purchase, however, in thinking. Or regretting or worrying. Right now, three minutes and fifty seconds. This is long. Uh, there's only one solution: rush to Rye. Right, you must have the house. Come to Rye, please, Edward Warren. Come, please. Watch, see this house, please. But he cannot wait for Ernest, and he certainly could not focus on his work. He could not focus on his work. This is very, very important. It's just a house, but it's, but no one, okay, knew the meaning of this. For so many years, he had no country, no family. Oh, huge, okay. This is a big, you know, background information that motivates the, uh, the character. He needs a shell, a home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful windows. To view the answer. Right, he needed a, he needed a shell. This is five minutes, five minutes so far. Okay, I'm moving forward, and uh, now moving to the questions. Here we go. The main focus just from um, uh, character, meeting a character, to discovery, to um, to uh, to uh, urgency and why. Okay, so. Search for a 
to a porch on the meeting. Yep, that took me a little longer than I wanted it to. Let me pause the time for a second. There's a minor, um, uh, there's a minor awkwardness. This was five minutes and 35. And yes, I will write the time for every single question that I do so that you can calculate how much time each question took me. This one took me 35 seconds. I actually expected it to take less than 25. Uh, so it just took me a while to process all the word choices and the answer choices, but I had my prediction. My prediction was perfectly fine. Um, I paused the time uh, because I need to I need to turn on um, guided access so the screen doesn't turn off. Okay, so uh, the screen the screen was turning off while I was taking the test, which always stresses me out. So here we go. Uh, three, two. Let me see if anyone's joined. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, go. What is learned about Henry and Mr. Milson? Um, uh, you know, they're English and uh, American and they don't know a lot about each other and one of them is about ironmongery. Um, no, I don't think they have little in common. They're, yep, yep, that is definitely true, 605. Uh, flavors, flavors. Uh, that's the flavors of you can drink in the conversation at, in in English, right? That's the top right over here. Uh, had the flavors. Uh, chatting, 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 chatting. Yeah. Memorable. Hang on. Oh, character. That that sounds about right. Because I'm looking for, right. Uh, Allowing the turns of speech local references, right? The character. Turns of speech local references per character. That's definitely right. That took me a little longer than I needed, 45. Uh, which reaction when he receives? Uh, he, he actually doesn't recognize who it is. Uh, yeah, that, that's about right. Uh, Benny is a uh, false. Uh, no. It's, uh, he fails to appreciate the significance because, uh, yeah. 7-0, oh. he doesn't know who it is. Let me just double check what that was. It's at the bottom over here. Yeah, he was puzzled. Okay, yeah, that's, now it took me 15 more seconds to confirm, so that was probably a waste of time, honestly. It wasn't really necessary. I was already pretty high confidence. Uh, the passage suggests that after reading and understanding Mr. Melson's letter, uh, Henry wonders if uh, Henry, Henry, Henry uh, is like, oh my god, I'm definitely not going to get it. So I definitely need to go. Okay, so uh, wonders is knowledgeable? No. Sus okay, this is true uh, because he might have, he checks the postcard, uh, the postmark, and that's at the bottom. He checks the postmark to see if there's something else. Um, right. This is 50 to all, 55, that's 55. It was hard to read, but that's 55. Moving to 55, okay, 53 to 55, not 55, 56. Uh, it was up to 55. Uh, so that's 815. Hang on, how long did that take me? It took me about uh, 50 seconds to do those two questions. Uh, now moving on, it can be inferred that Henry fears that he will lose the possibility of being able to live in Lamb House because someone else will take it. Someone else will take it. Um, Oh, also B, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, it's basically like if I were in real time, I might just rush, you know, and just come back to it. Uh, but because I'm pretty sh sure of it, his life has been characterized by a struggle to attain the things he desired. Oh, this actually supports the previous one. Like he never, there, there must be some evidence about how he never gets what he wants. Um, but that must be around here. Nah, that was, that's over here. 57. Okay, that's 57. And see, that actually is the support for number seven as well. That actually helps number seven. So that is 920. Moving on. The last paragraph mainly serves two. Um, where's the last paragraph? Uh, explain the significance of why why he needs this uh, context for yeah, cool, and then 
that's 940 and I'm almost under 10 minutes. Uh, shell exposure, yeah, this kind of damaging, okay, right, 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 right. A metaphor for his, nope, uh, um, uh, nope. Parallel between his personality and certain features of the house. I'm pretty sure that's correct because all the other ones seem wrong because the thing is that, um, okay, he doesn't have any place he doesn't even have a shell, so that makes him nervous, right? It's, so that's not just the house, it's, it's a physical thing, but it's also a psychological thing. That's definitely correct, that's 10, 15, I'm pausing. Okay, 10, 15, so I only went about 15 seconds more than uh, I was hoping to uh, for the literature passage, and I'm confident in all those answers, so I can go and double check them. Um, I can double check them uh, right now. And as I double check them, I will uh, I will field any questions. Um, I will field any questions that anybody has. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to pump my stream up uh, by telling people in my Discord server that I can, I'm going to do uh, Q and A sessions as well. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for, uh, where's the, qu or I need to find the questions, give me a sec. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull it up on my computer so I don't have to awkwardly uh, compare. Okay, so right now I'm looking at reading. Here we go. It's, I chose DBCB, and DBCB is correct. I chose CCB, and CCB is correct. And then I chose ABA, and this is ABA, so that's correct. Cool. All right, so I got all of those correct uh, right now. Uh, looks like no one has questions, uh, so I'm gonna move on to the next passage. Uh, my time is 10, 17, right? So I'm about to get started on the second passage. Before I do, should I say anything about this story? What do I think is kind of unique or peculiar to this story? Um, I think the key, there are two key uh, realizations, that, sort of two key transitions that I noticed, okay? Uh, and maybe there's more that you can notice, but I think these two are super important, okay? The first transition comes out at the bottom of the left side, left column. Um, basically, you're, you have these two characters sort of talking to each other and you don't know why, right? Like, what's the connection here? Um, actually, the first jump right now is I knew they were in England. I knew they were in England. That is partly background information. I knew it because I know about Henry James, the writer. But even if you don't know, okay, that they are in England, you should know that they are not in the United States. How should you know that? That should happen in lines three and four. Mr. Milson knew Mr. James as the American writer, which means they're not in America, because you wouldn't say that if you were in America, okay? And then, it, and then this really drives it in in 12. He, Mr. Milson enjoyed talking, and he was not literary, and he had not been to America, and Henry didn't know much about ironmongery. So they discuss houses, right? This is the first huge transition you need to get, okay? Uh, in context, you know that they are, um, that Henry James is a, uh, is an expat, okay? Is, uh, is not from this country that they're in. Uh, later on, the word London comes out, so you should know that they are in England, but whatever. You don't have to know if it's England or not, you just have to know it's a different country. And so Mr. Milson and Henry James, even though they are of different nationalities, they're in the same area together, right? So do they have any shared ground? They don't, okay? And remember what I said when I was streaming? I said, oh, oh, the house is the only thing they can talk about. I think I literally said something like that. It's because 
you know, they don't know much about each other. They don't. I, I didn't highlight this, but there's also literary, right? Literary and ironmongery, right? One of them is English and knows about ironmongery. One of them is American and knows about literature. And they're, they're not very similar to each other. And so they talk about houses. And so they talk about houses. That's the one thing that they can talk about, right? Um, that's a super important transition to, to catch. And then I think over here, um, yeah, you need to, uh, uh, like kind of him, you should get the part with him, like sort of figuring out what it really means with the letter. But the other, but the important transition I was wanting to talk about right over here is um, starting at this transition in 76, we start getting the significance, like his motivation for why, what's making him tick, what makes him want, want to be like this. And this is super important. Whenever, whenever you read literature um, that's not highly experimental, just so regular novels, okay, regular character-driven, plot-driven uh, stories, okay, you really need to focus on what the characters want and why they want it, okay? That's, that's basically the main thing that you should be thinking about. And when two characters want things, inevitably there will be a conflict, <laughs> right? So then there's a conflict between these two characters. So just think about what characters want. Uh, and here we get why Henry James wants the house. And I, I caught that transition in real time, okay? And that made it much easier to answer all these questions with confidence, okay? So um, I'm, 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 I can tell that my stomach is kind of hurting right now, so I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'll move on to my, the second passage. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to quickly, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm gonna just quickly mute myself.
Okay, yeah. Since I, since I only have one monitor today, uh, just like my laptop monitor today, it makes it really awkward to switch back and forth, but uh, I am back. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm not feeling super, I'm not feeling amazing today, but I did get 10 out of 10 on the first passage, so let's keep going, let's keep chugging it along. All right. So I'm about to start time and I'm about to start on the second passage. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh, social science, it seems like. Mind, oops. Society and behavior for reconstruction and development. Hmm, I have no, that's so broad. What are we talking about right now? New social rewards, what the heck? Okay. Every intervention lies something about human behavior, okay. When a tunnel providing water, so when it collapsed, creating water shortage, declared an emergency, threat of a crisis. Okay. So here's, that's the intervention, the assumption is information would adjust behavior. But the assumption was wrong, that actually, it actually increased water consumption. Okay, so we're talking about behavioral science now. Okay, uh, at, a, at, uh, at a societal level. Did not think they can make a difference and did not know which steps are most important. Some people even started to stockpile water. Then change the strategy. Okay, there you go. For example, stickers were distributed. Place a sticker by the faucet used most frequently. Okay. Then there were daily reports prominently published in the newspapers. Okay, also there were campaigns, techniques for household water conservation, slogans and volunteers, taking a shower, turning off <laughs> the tap while soaping. I'm at 12.40 right now, so that took me about two minutes. Third, they publicize information of, oh, information about who is co cooperating and who is not. Awarded households with uh, a poster San Rafael. Visible in the media, okay? So we're all talking about one example, that's kind of interesting. Three months later, Sanctions for overconsumption. Okay, they what did they have to do? They had to go into a workshop and uh, cuts. They targeted highly visible actors, such as car washing businesses, were attacked. Uh, were uh, because they were visible. I guess visible, visible. The assumption that we're we're now we're going back to analysis was that you need to create a greater scope for rewards and punishments. That's the idea. You want to have rewards and punishments. Information is not good enough. Also interesting little detail. Even afterwards it had, so it dropped, yeah, so it's, it never hit the same peak. It never hit the same peak. That's 14.25, two more minutes. So that's pretty fast actually. 
uh, here we go. The main purpose of the passage is to demonstrate how there are assumptions behind interventions and using the city of Bogota. I guess D. Okay, that's fifteen. Well, that's uh, fourteen fifty. Overall structure: a failure, a success with three three components, and then um, the assumption. Okay. Uh, So I'm kind of looking at the, um, I'm kind of looking at like the last clause of each of these, but I'm just okay. This one seems about well, right. A failure. Yeah, that seems right. A long-standing dilemma. No solution. Conflict. Criticism. Yeah. That's an easy one that just took me too much time because I don't know why. It took me too much time. Um, creative tactics, bottom left. So maybe 40, 21, 24, or 42, 44. Forty-two, forty-four. Because 2124 is only, doesn't even go to the stickers yet. Yeah. Establish a mechanism to demonstrate, yeah. Or, no, no, how to make use of the information. Oh, demonstrate. Uh, Uh, B is B is more correct. C is wrong, um, because demonstration is not the focus. They did not know. Oh, I'm not doing it in blue. Sorry. They did not know which steps were useful. Demonstrate compliance. That's not. Yeah, there's no evidence for that. Okay, so moving on to 15. Oh, sorry, that's 1720. Oh, this is taking too long. Okay, that's an emergency right now. Uh, it took way too long. 18 steps. I'm going to focus a little more. 18 steps. Which, uh, which measures? Okay, cool. That's 1735. That's 15 seconds, so let's keep going. The purpose of the stickers was to remind people. Yeah, that's correct. Reminding. Uh, that is uh, 1745. Okay, and 58 cuts most nearly means. Uh, probably means reductions. Probably means reductions, whatever it is. What? An extra day of water cuts. Water uh, reductions. Sure. <laughs> it's literally what I. Okay, so at least I went through those quickly. Then here we go. The conclusion best drawn from the results of the Bogota city campaign, governance campaign, is that people are more likely to do things with rewards and punishments. Then, we don't know about then. If information, no. Um, each other, no. Incentives, yes. Rewards and punishments. Um, that's at the bottom, that's at the bottom of the right side over here. Okay, uh, from 63 to 68, okay, 2005 was approximately what, 2005 was approximately 14.25, 14.25, 14.25 14 cubic meters per second. Okay. So 2000, um, what I remember is 2005 was the lowest anyway, so I wanna say decline steadily maybe? Considerably, 
hang on, let's look at this. Okay, 2002 to 2004, okay. It's kind of awkward, this question is kind of silly. It's so specific, but yeah, 2007 to 2009, yeah, no, no. This is such a silly question, and this this is one of those silly questions that you just have to like reread everything, 1955. But I am highly confident on everything, so uh, I'm not going to double check everything. I'm highly confident, so I actually just went through the second passage in 10 minutes as well, which gives me 14 minutes for two passages. Uh, as in, I can take 14 minutes on two more passages and still be at the average of 12 minutes per passage. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but what this makes me feel is that I'm about to get some really hard passages uh, coming up real soon, okay? Because uh, these weren't super hard. So I'm very confident in these answers. Uh, I guess I could double check, you know, just so I don't embarrass myself on YouTube. But um, today, I'm just going to go with it, man. Just going to go with it. So uh, let's, let's review the answers really quickly. And then I can take any questions afterwards. So for 11, 12, 13, I chose DAD. DAD, cool. And 14, 15, 16, 18. Okay, that is BAAB. BAAB, cool, no problems there so far. And then DCBC. DCBC. And so I got minus zero out of, out of 11. Um, that's minus zero out of 11. Cool, so that's, I should emphasize that. 10 out of 10. Yeah, so I'm good. Uh, what's important to learn about this? Like, I think the main thing is, you know, we start with the theory. We start, with, we start with the theory and then the failure. Then we talk about the change in the strategy. So I noticed this transition, okay? And this change in the strategy, we have one, two, three reasons, uh, one, two, three things that they did. And then we transition again to a sort of um, uh, analysis again. So if you just catch those, I think it'd be pretty solid uh, in terms of just remembering what actually happens and, and understanding what happens. So. I don't think I have to explain too much about this passage. Uh, if you have questions though, please ask them now or forever hold your peace. Okay, I'm looking at my YouTube real quick. All right, and we have no questions. Um, today, today, uh, today it looks like there's not a lot of people uh, listening in, as in at the moment zero. <laughs> so should I? Should I just pause and then maybe resume this test tomorrow when I have when I'm in a better condition? Maybe, maybe. Uh, you know what? That's my gut feeling says that's probably better. So, guys, that's the May 2019 US. Uh, hang on, did I not fix the? I did it. <laughs> so silly. I didn't fix the text on the sidebar here. Ah, uh, so annoying. Anyway, well now it's finally fixed. May 2019 US. Um, it's been a while since I've done this particular type of streaming, so I forgot to. I forgot my usual routine. Anyway, um, so that's the May 2019 uh, US. Uh, first two passages of the reading and. Uh, Today, I think that'll be it. Um, I want to just sort of keep myself feeling energized, and I feel good right now. I got 21 out of 21. All right, guys. Uh, if you have questions, if you have questions, uh, please feel free to leave some comments below. And also, if you want to um, take the May SAT reading test uh, and actually do it all on your own first, uh, that might actually make this stream a little more interesting for you guys. So uh, when I see you tomorrow, uh, maybe some of you will have already taken the May 2019 SAT. 
All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.